Hey guys, welcome back to another Surgical Tech Tips. Today, we're we gonna be talking about the robot. This is a uh, this is a Da Vinci XI robot. This is their newest iteration of their robotic systems. They uh, we have we have an XI and an XI or we have XIs and SIs here at my hospital. Uh, I specifically just wanted to go over the XI though because that is the newest technology. And um, you know if you're a hospital out there, if your hospital doesn't really have a robot yet, they'll most likely be buying this one if they're buying their first robot. Now, I have got a ton of stuff to talk about with this robotic system. It'll most likely be broken up into a few videos or else it would just be like an hour long spiel. So uh, let's get started with kind of a, a brief overview of the robotic systems in the room. So the first thing I want to go over is this, this unit here. This is the console. This is the console where the surgeon will be sitting and operating through. Uh, very interesting, you know, the surgeon is only scrubbed in at the table while they put the trocars in and maybe they may d like help dock the robot. But once that robot is docked and, and the instruments are inserted in the patient and ready to go, that surgeon will scrub out, sit down at this console, and operate the entire procedure through this console until he's ready to, you know, close the wounds and close the, uh, the trocar incisions. So first part of this console are we have two little eye holes right here. Uh, you can kind of see the colored bars in there. That's the screen that's inside this console. And when the surgeon is operating, that is a 3D screen. So he is operating in three dimensions, which is, you know, probably one of the most important things and one of the best things that surgeons like about operating in this system. They have a depth of view that you just don't have with laparoscopic cases and, and 2D cases. Up here, we have two little uh, two speakers on either side of the surgeon's ears and also two mics. So the surgeon, while, he's sit while he or she is sitting in the console, they can talk to everybody else at the field and there's actually a speaker system on another um, piece of the robotic system. And you know, the, the surgeon can speak through that speaker system and vice versa, there's a mic on the, on the field and on the speaker system on the field and the surgeon can hear the conversation going on at the field if he needs to, uh, if he needs to hear anything. Moving down the console, we have, uh, these, these are basically just movement buttons over here that can move the uh, plates and move the console itself up and down, depending on the, uh, the surgeon's height and what's comfortable for them. And what's nice is we actually already have uh, presets available that they can save in here, press and hold a button, and it'll automatically go back to that surgeon's preset and be ready for them. Now these two little guys here are, are basically the most important part of the console. Uh, this is what the surgeon is going to be using to operate with. This is translating all movements from the surgeon's hands directly to the robotic arms and the robotic instruments. They have full 360 degree range of motion and clamping, cutting, uh, staple use with foot pedals down on the ground bipolar, monopolar, and movement of the camera pedals all down on the ground as well. So everything that the surgeon needs to operate at the console, it's all right here. Now this is the back part of the actual robot itself. Uh, if you can see, the arms are over here, and this is the back part. This is what you're gonna use to be able to drive the robot. If you are a nurse, you'll be driving the robot. Uh, but to go over, you know, how to deploy for draping and maybe even how to, how to move the boom and set up the boom, this is the console. This is where you're going to be doing all of that from. When you first come in the room as a tech, obviously you want to set up your robot to be able to drape it. So what's nice about the XI is it has a button that says deploy for draping and it will open up the arms and position them in a way that you'll be able to drape it easily. So let's do that right now. Just click and hold the button. The robot will move itself into place.
and it's ready to go. Stowing the robot after, after the day is another easy thing to do. Just hit that stow button, hold it, and it brings it right back into stow mode for you so you can place it in the corner of the room after you're done with the cases for the day. Now if you are a nurse and you are going to be docking this, you can just enable the joysticks specifically and you can control the boom itself by twisting our knob here, going in and out, and increasing the boom height and lowering it. So you'll notice after we deployed for draping that we had a menu over here pop up on the left. This is kind of nice, this is kind of a specialty key to help the nurses out with knowing where to dock for the specific type of case. So say it was a pelvic case and the patient is in stirrups, patient legs, that means the console is going to be coming down from the bottom between the patient's legs. That's where it's going to be docked from. Uh, thoracic case, let's say we're doing a right upper lobectomy, we're coming th on the patient's right side directly adjacent to the patient, uh, further up on the body over the, over the chest cavity. So we've gone over most of the specifics on the back of this robot, except for these little handles here. This is how the nurse is gonna drive this robot in so you can dock it with the patient. So underneath these handlebars are basically just two big, two big long buttons. You push those in and it automatically drives for you. It's super, super easy. Left and right, back and forth. It has a drive mechanism built into it, so it's not super hard. Even though this robot looks like it's huge and heavy, which it is, the drive mechanism makes it super, super easy to move. Last part of the uh, robot trifecta here is uh, this kind of slave console. Uh, it's got a monitor directly attached to it from DaVinci. This is not a 3D monitor, but it's a monitor amongst all your other monitors hanging from the ceilings and smacking your head on. Uh, this will be able, you'll be able to hook up your monopolar cords, bipolar cords, uh, your camera hooks, hook, hooks directly into this slot here. And then it's just got uh, some other slots for foot pedals and, and what have you, if you need them. Uh, the main part of this monitor though is important. Now this monitor is the most important part of this slave console because if there are any issues that happen during a case or issues that happen with an arm, a fault will come up on the top of the screen and it'll tell you exactly what the fault is and how to fix it. Uh, over here we have our list of all of our arms that are connected to the Da Vinci itself. The plan cart approach, so see I still have the thoracic, uh, right upper thoracic case set up. Uh, going over in the menus here, this says uses remaining up here. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says uses remaining. So what's important about this are all of the instruments that we use in a robotic case, they have lives and they have a certain amount of lives per instrument. It could be 15, it could be 20, it could be 50, depending on what the instrument is. And what's great about this monitor and great about this is that you'll be able to look this up at the end of the case and make sure that none of those instruments are expired or you know don't have any uses left in them we like to keep a tally when it starts getting close uh, to you know maybe like the last five uses of a, of a of an instrument we'll start you know putting little hash marks on the on the instrument itself just to let the tech know when they're opening it that it only has so many lives left down here we have four little bars. Uh, these four little bars are actually the arms. And what's great about this is when you have instruments in these arms, you'll, you'll, it'll tell you exactly what instrument is in each arm and or camera and in, in what arm it is, it is in. Wow, so that was a lot of info on uh, kind of a brief overview of the three main uh, console units that are attached to this uh, da Vinci robotic system. You can go more in depth with it. I, that was just a really brief overview though. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
keep looking out for the next one because it's probably going to be a few videos. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the likes and shares and comments. Uh, as always, I'll see you on the next one.